Duck lady, uh, so they call you, yes. uh, Joyce Norris. Uh, Joyce, do you have to train the ducks as well to participate in this? Well, mostly it's the dogs doing the work. The ducks are conditioned to know what the obstacles are, but they won't go unless the dog makes them. Now for the Border Collies, this is obviously a little bit more natural, more instincts. How much time goes into the actual training of this? Well, they have to be able to train them in order to work with you. They know the instincts to do what they want to do, but they don't know what to do with it. So it's our job to teach them how to respond to us and be able to move the livestock where we want it to go. Now how long have you been doing this and what got you into it? I've been doing this for about 20 years. Well, as soon as AKC started offering the herding, I got into herding. I've had border collies and bred border collies for over 30 years, and I never had the opportunity to have access to herding like the AKC program has helped us to be able to do. Now, uh, when you were doing your demonstration, you were mentioning in your speech about border collies and to be very aware of what you're getting into when you do uh, adopt or you, you buy a, from a breeder. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Okay, the breed is very high intense kind of dogs. They need something to do. They're bred to run out in huge areas and huge fields and do stuff like that. So they're not a family pet. They're not good in an apartment or unless, you know, people that jog or run or do activity every day, they're fine. But they're very easily bored. So they're a high drive type of dog. And so now do you train other dogs, maybe people with farms or have border collies as pets, train them how to herd? Well, I do give duck herding lessons and I do them all over the United States. I've been to Arizona, I've been, you know, up, I'm coming up to Michigan actually in June to give a duck herding clinic where I show people how to train their dogs on ducks. And the nice thing about ducks is even if you don't live on a farm, you can have five ducks and you can train your herding dog to herd with five ducks. And that's what's proof of it. That's This dog's been trained on ducks exclusively, and she does sheep also. She doesn't want to stop working. Look at her. Oh, she's very intense. She's got to learn. <laughs> she's young. She doesn't actually know that that'll do like the other dogs do. Now, uh, what are your thoughts on the crowd today? I mean, we've been here. We were here last year. I remember doing the interview. I mean, it's just immense. Right. It's awesome this year. So, I, you know, good for the show committee. That's great that they've offered enough things to bring the crowd in to see us work. Well, awesome stuff. Great demonstration. Thank you so much for your time, Joyce. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, once again, as they call her the duck lady, Joyce Norris, uh, getting a chance to show the border collies and how they herd the ducks. Uh, we'll have more right here at the Suburban Collection Showplace. Crowd today. I guess we'll start with uh, working dogs today. Uh, my name is Joyce Norris. I'm from Walthamville, Illinois, which is in southern Illinois. It's about a 10-hour drive to come up here and give you this demonstration every year. I'm uh, going to demonstrate to you dogs working livestock like they would on the farm or anywhere else. However, it's easier for me to do this with ducks than it is to do it with sheep or cattle or something like that. You see all this equipment here, we have all this equipment, we have three dogs, we have two people, luggage, and ten ducks, and it all fits in my minivan. So, it's much easier to travel ten hours in a minivan than having to haul a trailer and truck. Uh, have with me today my dog Rocky, he's a 12-year-old Border Collie. He's been doing this since he's a youngin'. He's a triple herding champion. He also has a master in everything that AKC offers, not only in ducks, but in sheep and cattle also. So he has uh, accomplished a lot of things. He also has an AX, AXJ in agility. He has a CD, has a rally title. He's been a working dog for all the 12 years he's been on the earth. And you're so excited right now, aren't you? Um, I also have his granddaughter Sprite, she's laying over there, we're going to work her later, and she's just beginning, this is her debut doing duck demonstrations. You know, poor Rocky, don't listen buddy, but you're going to have to be retired one of these days, so, you know, a little, little granddaughter's going to have to step up to the plate and, and help him out here. Um, I also have uh, my friend Nancy Lindsay, I picked her up in Beecher, Illinois, and she's here with her dog Hope. Hope has an advanced uh, duck and sheep title, and she's also working towards her herding championship, and she also does nose work and a little bit of agility and all different kinds of things to keep them busy. Being 
that they are border collies, they've got to have something to do. And if they don't have anything to do, they can think of something, and it's not always in the best interest of your home and yard and house and etc. that they can easily destroy. Uh, they like to hurt anything that moves, including cat or including not just livestock, but they also like to chase cars and bicycles and motorcycles and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and the saddest part is the way the breed is bred, they're bred to be heading dogs. So they try to head a car and that's how come they get run over. So you have to have something for these dogs to do. The sad thing is, is they become real popular when they talk about them being the most intelligent dog. And so I need to direct your time and effort to go to the Border Collie Rescue Booth, which is down the aisle way down there. They are getting more and more dogs because people think, well, I want this most intelligent dog. But then the dog outsmarts the family, it's not cute anymore, and it ends up going to rescue. So please, please, if you decide you want a Border Collie, go to the booth, talk to them. You know, they will let you know. My dogs are bred for performance dogs. They work every day. I have a 70-acre farm. I have over 100 ducks. These dogs work every day. And that's what they are bred to do. So sometimes they'll have a rescue that's maybe a cross or something that might fit with you. But they do screen them really well, and it should help you out. Also, this beautiful duck that I have on my face was done by the rescue boot. So I think she did an awesome job. She paints my face every year. So you go over there and they have the face paint. And I see a lot of the kids already with their faces painted. Uh, tell you a little bit about my ducks. These are called ducks. They're a miniature mallard. They uh, were bred to be taken out on the field and call in wild game. Okay. Only the female duck quacks. The male duck makes a little beep beep noise, but if you hear a loud quack, that's the female duck, and we've got a couple of them here with us today. Well, they decided that was cruel, so you all know about Duck Dynasty, right? The Duck Dynasty became popular with making calls to imitate my little call ducks. So that's how the breed, now they're just a show duck. So a little bit about herding. Uh, herding is the controlled movement of livestock moving the livestock in the direction you want plus the speed that you want. You don't want your livestock run really fast if you're fattening up cattle or sheep and you don't want them to run the conditioning off of the livestock. Uh, there's six basics that we're going to show you that these dogs have to have in order to do this task. And the first one, of course, is desire and interest to work with you. Uh, it's a team sport. We have to work together. The sad thing is, is the dog, or I guess it's a good thing, the dog knows more about the livestock than I do. So I have to be able to trust him and he has to be able to trust me to be able to take the livestock where we want it to go. Uh, you'll hear us giving plank commands. The first plank command is come by and it's a clockwise. It's all a circular command. We're going to demonstrate these and show you what they look like. Then we have away to me, which is away from the clock, where uh, is the second flank command. We have a stop or a lie down. I use stop on my dogs. I work cattle. I don't want my dog laying down in front of cattle, so I prefer that they stand and stop on their feet. Um, the other thing is a walk up. That's where they actually make contact with the livestock and walk up on and start putting the livestock in motion. The other thing is an out or a back. If the dog needs to get off or out off the stock, we tell them to out or back. And then the last thing that's very important, you remember Babe? That'll do pig? Well, we do a lot of that'll do Rocky. So Rocky knows that we're done working the stock. And we're going to give you a demonstration of dogs that work stock. We're going to tell them that'll do. We're going to lay them down. And we're going to let Sprite take ducks around them. And they're not going to work. So we're going to try to demonstrate all these things for you. At the very end, then we're going to bring a duck around so you'll be able to pet them and uh, get to feel a duck. We find a lot of adults even 
have never petted a duck. So we welcome adults and children to pet the ducks. We're about ready to start. Um, I have one thing, those of you with dogs, if you don't mind not putting the dogs on the fence, when the ducks come by, they're very affected by the crowd, and especially another dog, it just makes our dogs work a little bit harder. And they got lots of shows to do. And he's 12, so he needs a break. So we're going to go ahead and start with Hope and Nancy. Nancy's going to do what we call an out run. That's where we send the dog out to the fields to pick up the livestock and bring them to us. So we're going to simulate that right here with ducks in a pen. So you'll notice she's going to walk up and bring the ducks to Nancy. She's controlling the speed of the ducks so they're not in a hurry. There she goes. Nice and steady is what we're looking for. We're going to work with the ducks. You see that she uses what we call the eye. Border Collies use eye. Border Collies and Kelpies are the only two breeds that use the eye to mesmerize the livestock to make them go where they want them to go. They don't bark or bounce or do any of that kind of stuff. Where some of the other breeds we call upright or loose eye dogs, they don't use eye. They can also maneuver livestock through the course too. Love it when it rains. They're so happy whenever you have any kind of water with them. I think Hope's mesmerized. There she goes. So, and I'm very curious, you'll get to see right here that ducks slide. And I didn't understand why they did that, but if they go to a pond and it's a steep bank, they will slide down. Into the, into the pond or lake or whatever you've got. We get to see sliding ducks. Okay, Nancy's going to gather the ducks back up again. She's going to take them in the middle and we're going to show you some of the flight commands. We're going to do a way to me, which is away from the clock, or counterclockwise is the way to me command. You notice the ducks are still at that point. Now she's going to do come by, come by around the stock. She's going to do some stops. Lined up here, make her stop. And then she's going to walk up and get the ducks in motion again. And she's going to take them and fetch them through the course again. We're going to take them through the tunnel again. Rocky, being an old dog, he doesn't like these ducks. After we work these ducks, they're kind of dirty. So we want to clean these ducks before Rocky has to work them. So we didn't get much dirt off of them in the tunnel, so we're going to try to put them in the pool again and see if we can get some uh, dirt off of these ducks before Rocky works them. We'll see if that works. If we can get them washed up. Well, they're not going to go in the pool, so we're going to have to put them in the duck wash and wash them in the duck wash. 